All right, here we are and we are ready to get started with skills. We're gonna warm up today with some riddles, but no, it's not for a new sound. These are for adjectives. So I'm gonna read some descriptors to you and you're gonna tell me what adjective or describing word matches what I'm telling you about. So let's get started. Summer grass is usually this color. Green, good, let's do another one. Tic-tac-toe, how many in a row? Three, great work. Okay, 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 how about, how about? A person who lifts heavy weights is strong, they're strong, good. Okay, so remember, all these are adjectives, describing words, that's the answers. Candy has this taste. Sweet. Candy is sweet. Excellent. What about this? This is the opposite of light. Dark. Excellent. Excellent. You're doing great. Okay, I got a few more. If you dive into a pool, you will be this. Wet. You'll be wet. Good job. Okay. A hill that is very high is... This might be tricky. No, it's not a mountain. If it was a mountain, I would call it a mountain. No, it's still a hill. Just still a hill. Mm-hmm. Someone got it. We call those steep. It is steep. Good. Okay. Three more. A circle has this shape. Round. Circles are round. Good. If you reach a base before you are tagged, you are... You are safe. Yes, in that case, to be describing you. You are safe. All right, last one. A clerk might say this to a person in line. <laughs> all right, great job warming up and just, yes, all those are just different types of adjectives. And now I have something for you. It's a magic bag. There's some things in my magic bag, but we are going to have to describe them using our senses, i.e., you know, adjectives. So let's figure out what's in my bag. All right, the first thing I see in my bag is red and green. It, I don't hear anything. I don't recommend tasting this particular one, but it feels mostly soft and kind of prickly, but it smells, oh, it smells so sweet. It's a what? It's a rose, it's a flower. Notice I can describe what it looks like, what it feels like, what it smells like. I don't recommend tasting it though because it will save up for food items. We're not gonna taste it, but we can use some of our other senses to describe. So if I just ask you to say, I have a rose, you can tell me I have a red rose. I have a sweet smelling rose. I have a Soft rose, it's soft, the petals are soft, be careful, there's thorns, it's prickly too. Let's see what else. Ooh, I hear something, do you hear that? Yeah, something is making a rattling sound. Okay, okay, let's see. It's making a rattling sound. Well, it's hard. It's green and orange. So it feels hard, it looks, I see green and orange, and I hear, what, what can it be? It's a rattle, it's a rattle. So we see it, green and orange, we, ow, don't do that. We feel it, and we hear it. Should I taste it? No, I shouldn't taste it. 
use it. Do you think it has a smell? It might. Let's find out. It smells like plastic. It smells like plastic. So it's... <laughs> it smells like what it's made out of. Good. So we have a rose and a rattle. Okay. We'll see what else is in our bag. Um... Oh, this one is soft. And he's black and white. It's black and white and red. And cute. That's something to describe it. But that's an opinion. So... Here's a sound, too. A little small bark. Okay. So I can hear him. I can feel that he's soft. I can see that he's black and white with red little polka dots on him. So yes, we can. Should we taste it? Uh, uh, oh no, don't do that. It's a bad plan. Okay, we won't look it up. All right. So I can see the dog is black and white and red. I can hear the sound he makes as a bark. We're not gonna taste this. When I touch it, I notice it is soft and. Well, it sm smells like dog. It smells like he smells. The dog smells like dog. It's kind of a mixture of outside and dog. I don't know how to explain it. Outside and wet a little bit. Well, not this one, but a real dog typically does. All right. So there's a couple other things in my bag. Remember, we're using adjectives describing words. Notice these are all things. I'm touching them. Okay, they're things. And in touching them, that shows that they're. Let's stand up. It used to. Nope, don't stand up anymore. Okay, these are things, right? So, let's keep going. Alright, so this is, it's hard. It looks, I see it's made of wood. You notice right there, see it has a textured pattern. You can feel the texture. It smells like wood. Uh, still not going to taste this one. Don't recommend tasting it. But yes, yeah, so different things. I have I think I have one more in my bag. Okay, my eyes are closed. Tell me. Tell me about it. What is it? What is it? What I have? No, no, no. Don't tell me what it is. Describe it. Okay, it's shiny. You can see it's shiny. What else? Hmm? What? What else? I, I don't know. I can't see it. There. What is it? It's shiny. Okay, it's, <laughs> it's metal. Good. Yep, smells like metal. Okay. So, it's probably hard. Yep, feels pretty hard. Should I taste this one? No, still not tasting things? Okay, that's fine. We don't have to taste everything. But I can see it is silver and shiny. It doesn't have a sound. I can feel it has like a rough texture. And not like in a bad way, but it's not smooth. Because of the stones that are in it, you can feel the raised places where the stones are. It smells like metal. It smells like metal. Go find something metal. I'll tell you that's exactly what it smells like. I'm going to let my little puppy wear it. He can have it. All right. So, yes, each item, everything we can touch, we can also describe it using our eyes, our ears, our mouths, our hands, and our noses. We don't want to taste a lot of things. It's a lot of things we don't want to taste. Just because it's a thing doesn't mean you got to taste it. All right, guys. So using this information and these ideas, let's put some adjectives in these sentences. Now, we did an assignment like this last week where it was your job to fill in the blank with an adjective. Fill in the blank with an adjective. So the first one says, today, when present, good, I run to the bus. Today I run to the bus. Let's describe the bus. Uh, well, let's go easy. What color is the bus? What's the school bus? Yellow. So today I run to the yellow bus. Today I run to the yellow bus. Good job. Good job. All right. Let's look at number two. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. When? In the future. I will swim. Will swim. You gotta use. You have to include the will when you're talking about future tips. Tomorrow, I will swim in the blank lake. 
So let's describe the lake. The lake can be, let's just, let's just work that out. Let's describe the lake. What are we going to see? What do we see when we see a lake? Lake, body of water. So I see blue. Okay, maybe it's a blue lake. I hear water splashing. Okay. I hear splashing. Are we going to taste it? We're going to try not to. We're going to try not to. Okay, so I hear splash. So I hear splashing. What about, what does it feel? So it feels wet. Good job. And it might smell, I don't know, it could smell fishy. Sometimes there's fish in lakes. So let's pick one. Let's go with, should we go with, let's not do blue because we already did a color. Let's do wet. Let's say we're going to the wet lake. And it's like, that might sound silly to you, but some places, some places where there used to be a lake, but lake, but the lake water is gone or only comes sometimes, they will call, they'll still call it a lake, but it is a dry lake, dry lake. So tomorrow we're going to swim in a wet lake. Mm-hmm. All right. And then yesterday I sat for a blank snack. So yesterday in the past I sat for a blank snack. Oh, uh, let's see. Should it be, how about, all right, so here, I'll give you some stuff. The, the snack is chips. The snack is chips. How do chips look? We can't tell me they look good. That's not, no, no. Looks good is bad. It's a bad answer. So let's think of that we, the snack that we're going to sit for, or we already sat for, was chips. Okay? How do they look? Okay. So they were kind of round. Good. How do they sound? Crunchy. Good. They taste salty. They feel hard. And actually, they smell salty too. Because your nose and your mouth, are, you may remember learning in kindergarten, but your nose and your mouth are connected. So they're round, they're crunchy, they're salty, they're hard, and they smell just like they taste. Good. So let's say yesterday I sat for a salty snack. Yesterday I sat for a salty snack. Ooh, good job. Yesterday I sat for a salty snack. Great work. All right. So what you're going to do is, like we did last week, I'm going to give you the sentence. The sentence is from page 23.2. I'm going to give you the sentences, but I'm going to leave a blank. And that's where you need to fill in an adjective to describe the noun. So the blank dog barks is what you'll see. You need to describe that dog. Yellow dog, old dog, red dog, brown dog. Silly dog, mad dog, barks. Tell me about the dog, okay? Okay. Then we got new spelling words. Let's look at them. Let's, yes, today we're going to draw pictures. Draw a picture does not mean write the word. Writing the word in rainbow color is not drawing a picture. You need to draw a picture to represent. So let, let's read these words. Sounded, lifted, pointed, parked. Waved, grinned, tripped, and have. All of our spelling words this week are what? They are verbs, yes. And except our tricky word, they are past tense verbs. They are past tense verbs. So what you're needing to do is draw a picture showing these actions having happened. So I chose to do lifted. And here's a couple examples. So, in this case, she lifted the bike over her head. Yeah, that works. She lifted the bike. Um, how about here? Here we have a forklift. The forklift lifted the pallet to the high shelf. Maybe you've seen one of these in the store before. Better be careful because they can't always see every which way they're going. Um, how about this truck that the owner has lifted so it sits higher different ways to represent so there's more than one right answer in terms of your picture but not having a picture is wrong and i'm gonna send it back 
You have to draw a picture to represent each of your eight spelling words. You have to draw a picture to represent each of your eight spelling words, guys. And um, just a quick note, they are found on page 16.1. 16.1 is our last set of spelling words for Unit 4, which should be a sign to you that we're starting to wrap that thing on up. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, that is all I have for today. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and your to-do list is right there for you. Please don't forget your homework, guys. It's not something you can cram in at the end, so please don't forget your homework, and I'll see you later. Bye.